everyone, it's Anne here again. I was making some belly bands for some journals the other day that I'd made and it occurred to me that I could make some little mini belly bands that could be used just on tags and then you can um, put all your little notes and letters and pictures together on a tag and just secure them with a little mini belly band. Maybe everybody's been doing this for years and I've just missed it, but I haven't actually seen any around, so... Anyway, here we go. Uh, this is my take on mini belly bands. Uh, these ones are made out of um, stretch elastic. Don't panic if you don't have any, because I have an alternative for you. And I actually... Uh, sewed these by hand. Uh, you can do them by on the machine or there is a method I'm going to show you today that doesn't require any sewing at all for those people who don't like to sew. Okay so this one I just did with a little charm and a ribbon. These ones are a bit more elaborate where I used some of the charms that I made a few months ago uh, out of the embroidered trim. Got them here. They're not all embroidered trim. Some of them I just made from little scraps of fabric. I, I really enjoy an afternoon just sitting watching a film or something with all the scraps and just making these little charms. You can make them out of any little scraps you've got just by stitching a little square or circle or rectangle. Maybe putting a little bit of stuffing in it. If you haven't got stuffing, you can just use another scrap of fabric just to give it a little bit of thickness. And then um, I just sewed a, a little ring onto the top so I could attach them to a chain or a ribbon. Anyway, that's by the by. That's what I did with uh, this one. Now, as I said, don't don't panic if you don't have any stretch elastic because um, this one I made with embroidered trim which doesn't stretch and I did that by um, putting a piece of elastic in between the two ends of the embroidered trim. So I just insert a little bit of elastic in the piece of ribbon or trim or whatever it is you're using and um, and, and then just, just sew it on the machine or by hand just to secure it and that, that get, lets you get over the fact that you don't have stretch elastic. I've got one here where I used a piece of this lace. You can see I just joined the two ends together with a little piece of elastic so that it can be stretched over a tag. They also, also don't worry if you I don't have the right colour of stretch lace because I only had white and cream and I made uh, these colours to use. The way I did that is I, I'll show you. I just put my gloves on. Okay, I'm going to do this one, this sort of turquoisey green colour. And I'm using my oxide. I'm just spreading a little bit on the actual uh, stretch lace. You don't need that much. Once you've got a little bit on there, just spray it with some water and then roll it around in your hands for a, a second or two and it will all become the colour you wanted it to be. And just lay it flat to somewhere to dry. Now I can't use that now because it's too wet, so I'll use one of the ones that I've already uh, coloured and dried. All right, so I'm going to use that in a sec. This one was the one I made without using any sewing at all, and I've got a little join on the back 
that I'm, I created and, and I think it will be strong enough to not um, to break not to break and to withstand keep being slipped on and off of the tag or to hold a lot of things in place as you as you tag gets fatter with things that you want to secure under the band. So I'll just show you how I did that one. I we'll use uh, this pink and just kind of guesstimate how much you're going to need. It's not that important to measure it accurately because if you're going to use the elastic you're going to have plenty of give in it and um, you know it, it it's you're not going to have to be so accurate with your measurements but um, because you're going to want it to to actually be stretched so it holds the papers onto the backboard I suggest you put it around to measure where the two pieces join and then make it a bit shorter so I'm going to cut my elastic about there you can see that that wouldn't actually meet just normally but when it's stretched I can make it meet and then it will be nice and taut to slip papers and keepsakes under there the next thing I did I got a piece of uh, just card I just fold the top down a little bit and some glue and then I put the um, the right side down onto the glue just halfway across the card and take the other end and put that on the other side of the card and I just cut it off leaving a little bit to bend up a bit more glue on each side just fold that up like that and then a couple of staples just to ensure that that's not going to come apart and you can turn it around the right way I did go over the staples with a, a hammer just to make sure they were nice and flat and squashed together I haven't got my hammer here so I won't do it all right, now we've got that far, um, we're going to just put a little charm on there. And I'm not going to sew that on either, I'm just going to uh, put a piece of ribbon around the middle of the elastic, tie it into a knot. Got a charm here. I want to thread the ribbon through the, the little charm. So I've just got a piece of wire folded in half. It's easier than trying to uh, coax it to go through. Yes, but <laughs> I only had one one leg of the wire through. I put my glasses on. Right, try again, Anne. Both legs of the wire through the hole. That's better. And then tie another knot and a little bow All right. 
right. So there we have um, one that's no sawing at all. And I, I, I like those very much. The, they're uh, very useful as well for just sticking your pictures and notes behind. You don't need to use paper clips. And this just makes them look different, I think. All right. So that's my non so mini belly band for tags. I hope you have fun making some and I'll see you again very soon in the next video I hope. Thank you very very much for watching. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.